Thank you guys so much for being here. This is this is really special to experience this release day with us and kind of, I don't know, give a go of like explaining the record and laying it out for you. This is like a first for us. So I can't think of anything like more raw. Yeah. Like just coming out with a record. Um, I, I did have like a about a two or three hour like just purely like weeping session last night. And so to be able to come up here and, and play these songs, it's like about as raw as you're going to think maybe anyone can get us so thank you for being a part of that so now we get to depression <laughs> i promise the record is uplifting uh <laughs> i uh the it's it's really interesting um when my i'm i'm now engaged too by the way um brian just had a baby so the the next record is going to be a, about just pure bliss. <laughs> um, but it, th there is like just like we wanted the music to feel hopeful, even though we're writing about real stuff. Um, I think at th the undercurrent of life is the fact that like you can you can hold pain and intrude, you know, heartbreak and also have hope and light and, and beauty. Um, and and the, the depression phase, as we all we all know what depression is. Um, uh, uh, we've we've had friends, or maybe you or yourself, or whoever it is family members like suffer in, in this in, in this stage in a, in a great great way. And and for me, um, I didn't really realize how depressed I was. Um, I, I don't I don't know if I was like just oblivious to it or whatever, or trying to have this kind of toxic positivity thing where I was like I'm I'm okay. Um, but it wasn't really until I was kind of on the other side of it that I realized how how bad it was for me. And I, I we wrote this song um, kind of just thinking about how you can be really angry and mad at a human being like my ex or whoever it may be for you, um, but also like want the best for them, you know, in a, in a way that's like, man, this really sucks. But like now that we're here, how how can I um, address this in a way? And again, from posture of like forgiveness and empathy. Um, and I, I kind of went back and like kind of gave my one final like grand gesture of like we're, we're going to save this thing and, and kind of got you know beat down a little bit and during the conversation and I, I I drove back tried to drive back home where I was living at the time and had this like major panic attack I, I had to stop the car and get out um called my mom and she kind of she said just stay right there I'm going to come get you and stuff and she's like an hour away um in that moment, those moments like that happen in your life, you just never forget. Um, so we, we kind of wrote that about holding that space for this, like, man, this is really tough, but also wanting the best um, for another. So this one's called Only Want the Best for You. Fight or flight, it's black and white I froze in time and I'm stuck in the traffic I couldn't catch my breath I don't know why I even tried to fight it When the fact of the matter Was you already left There alone inside my room as my heart broke into two On my knees, I hope you see the truth I want the best, I only want the best for me. I want the best, I only want the best for me. want the best, I only want the best for tried my best I crossed my heart and hoped to die I gave my hate a sweet goodbye so only love was left and I know you got your point of view now you know I've got
forgive myself and you And I hope that one day you can too I want the best, I want the best for me I want the best Kind of put you guys on the spot there singing. Sorry for that. Sometimes it's like you, if, if when you're in this proximity, it's like it's a little bit too vulnerable to kind of sing with like a stranger right next to you. <laughs> um, plus in the morning. Plus in the morning, yeah. Well, kind of morning. I don't know. I, I don't know why I want to share the story, but I'm going to. Um, I, we had quite like in high school when I was going through my last like stretch of puberty. That's a that's an that's a that's an important part of the story, <laughs> uh, but I, I was like learning how to play guitar and stuff and getting into music as um, I was going from like a tenor to like a bass too, and we had choir. I don't well, I don't know why I'm telling the story, but we had choir at eight eight a.m. and everybody was like four registers below like what they're <laughs> usually singing, and so sometimes when we have these early promo things, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> The, the the crackle in my puberty pubescent voice is gonna come out. 